everyone welcome to my channel I am going to do a little quick video just to kind of give you a little bit more about me you know um, a lot of people know well not a lot of people but some people might know that well first let me just let me let's rewind ah, yes yeah, that was the rewind button <laughs> um, my name is Tammy and I'm a mother so anyways got that out of the way I do have a 13 year old son and I love him with everything that's within me so yes he's 13 as of now and I'll definitely post some things of him he's kind of antisocial when it comes to his mother he's you know teenage years but he's my everything so anyways um I have been in a relationship with my boyfriend um, going on four years we've actually known each other since we were kids we were just friends uh, we both were in different type of situations. I was actually married to somebody. He was dating somebody and it just didn't work out on either ends. Um, of course, mine was a little bit more traumatic than his, but we'll get into that later on through other videos. Um, but yeah, we've been together. We are both West African. I am Nigerian and he's from Sierra Leone. So we have that West African love connection. <laughs> But, um, 2014, I found out I was pregnant. We weren't even trying to get pregnant, but, you know, when grown folks do what grown folks do, it happens. So, it happened. And I, you know, I was really excited. I took pictures of the test, the pregnancy test. I took, like, four of them. Um, I started documenting you know, trying to make videos, trying to do all the cute things that you see on Pinterest and everything like that. You know, I was already like, oh, what are we going to name her? And he was like, it's going to be a boy. You know, we were just really excited, you know, because we both have a child of our own each. And it would just be something that would be cohesive together. Um, then I went to Atlanta. You know, it was a very stressful trip. Um... Like our car broke down, then the rental car was giving us a like the rental car company was giving us a issue like oh I have owed the balance but they couldn't find what the balance was, and it was just so stressful. So I was just like you know I was going to Atlanta and I was supposed to be helping out with an event um, for my family, so of course I had to go. You know most people would have been like well I just wouldn't have went you know especially when you're pregnant and you know. I was like, look, I'm going. Um, so we got on the Greyhound because Megabus was gone already. So we got on the Greyhound. This trip took us like 10 hours to get to Atlanta, which is like a three and a half hour drive. So we finally get there and nobody was able to like assist us to get to where I needed to be. It was just like, I... I felt like I was a burden on other people, but I found my way up there and I helped out um, as much as I could. Um, there was actually almost a fight. And I remember, you know, I was trying to calm my peoples down and it's like not that serious, you know. And I got back to the hotel and I saw them, my boyfriend, I was just like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else with the event just because I wasn't really feeling that great. Um... So, we came back home, and I was, like, in a lot of pain. So, I went to sleep, and I was supposed to start my new job that next day. So, but I couldn't get out of bed. It was, like, excruciating pain. So, my boyfriend was just like, well, call me if anything changes. You know, he's going to work, but call him if anything changes. And... The only thing I can really remember was, I remember I crawled to the other room um, because my mother, she lives with us. So I crawled into her room and she was like panicking. She didn't know what to do. So my son called 911. And next thing I know, the ambulance was here. They would put me on the stretcher. We got to the hospital. And then I vaguely remember them asking me, you know, how far along are you? And then next thing I know, we were in the hospital. The nurse came in with the ultrasound. And I was just like, all I can remember saying was, is the baby okay? Is the baby okay? And she was just like, mm, I'll be right back. And you know, when people give you that, mm, I'll be right back, especially at the hospital, 
it's not going to be no good news. So, um, I waited. Um, I don't really know how my boyfriend knew that I was in the hospital. I don't know if I called him or if my son called him, but um, I just remember them saying we're going to surgery and your family has been notified and I woke up and we were going back into the room and you know my boyfriend was there my dad was there and I was just like okay what's going on like they never told me anything well I couldn't remember until after the surgery and what happened was one of my tubes ruptured um, causing my cervix to be 98% full of blood. Now, that is internal bleeding. The doctor told my boyfriend and also told me and my dad that if I didn't come in when I came in, I would have died because I would have bled to death internally. So I had to get blood transfusions. Um, they had to remove one of my tubes and of course they had to terminate the pregnancy. Um, that's something that really, really, really really hit me to the core you know you can take away my tools you could tell me I have all kind of fibroids the size of tennis balls but when you take away the baby that me I am so anti-abortion like I don't knock anybody for having them I know a lot of people that have had them for their own personal reasons I just personally don't believe that God grants you that blessing of the womb as a mistake so, um, it was very traumatic because uh, I remember the doctor saying that if I wanted to have more kids, it would be probably slim to none. No chances. Um, of course, my boyfriend, he's very optimistic and he's just like, look, it's going to happen. You know, maybe God just wants us to do it the right way as far as getting married and doing all of that. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I wanted my baby and I wanted my baby now. So, and then... You know, kind of fast forwarding things. Um, we kept going to the doctor. Just, you know, we had to do follow ups, of course. And then I went to the doctor to try to see, okay, what's going on? Okay, now you give me the okay, but I'm still not able to conceive. So they put me on all kind of medication, like, okay, we'll try this and try that. And nothing worked. And they're just like, well, at the end of the day, you only have one tube. And of course, the sperm doesn't have a GPS on it. So it doesn't know exactly which way to go, left or right. So it just seems to want to go one way instead of going the other way. But um, so right now we're not really trying. Um, I'm not really taking any medication. And I'm just kind of just like, hey, it is what it is. Um, on top of that, I have endometriosis. And I do have three fibroids the size of tennis balls that are still hanging out in there playing ping pong every now and then. But um, I really do want a baby. That's something that I really do want. If I'll ever have another baby, I don't know. So that's why I baby the baby that I have. Yes, he's 13. Yes, he's taller than me. Yes, his voice is deep as hell. But he's mine. And right now, he might be the only one that I ever have given birth to or that ever will give birth to. So that's my baby. But... I know a lot of people don't really like to talk about these type of things, and um, I'm like an open book. Hmm. Open book. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I write a book. I don't like writing, though. So somebody's going to have to write it. I'll tell you what I got to You know, I'll tell you my life. But that plane is so disrespectful, and I'm sorry. Because I'm not going to record this again. Mm -mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I smile about everything now. Because this is just like a little dash of salt. Not salt, because it wasn't salty. Like a dash of sugar. A sprinkle of sugar, yeah, of my life. Of everything that I've been through. And these are the reasons that I smile. So, I just wanted to give you a reason to smile. Like, hey, you know, somebody's life out there is worse. Somebody's going through a worse situation than you are. So, why not smile? So, that's my story for today. So, yes, Nigel Vixen, 
Signing out.